Okay, we've got a warship pulling the Royal Train now. Batman model. Easiest loco that I've ever fit a crew to. Absolute doddle. I can remember these seeing these as a kid, rows of them in a siding in Manchester. And they look like they'd all got sad faces. Strange what you remember as a kid. What about the taxpayer that paid for them had sad faces too. I've got three warships and I'm pleased with them all. Here we're going at a faster express pace. I think this warship looks pretty good pulling these, in my view. It's amazing how when you put a locomotive on the front of a set of coaches, I've realised doing these, it changes the whole aspect. And the reason this is slowing down is because it's at a slight slope at the moment. The thing about these Batman warships is they're not very good on the hills. Maybe if I put some weight in the loco it would be a lot better. Which on that is easy to do because it's easy to take apart. It really is, it's a doddle. Just be able to see the loco at the back of the circuit. And here it comes. This is one of my favourite parts of the track. The low coast going through that points crossover, that streamlined points crossover.
Now you'll see here it slows down a little bit because it's right at the top of a bend on a slope. Here is express speed. Okay, here's the final chapter of the war loop going around. It's not going to stop at the uh, Victorian station. It's just going to do a couple of loops and come out again on the main line. To be honest, it wouldn't be a bad little railway just where the war loop is and the circuit. But you wouldn't want to run, wouldn't want to run eight coaches because it'd look a bit silly. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this has given you some ideas. But the the warship looks, in my view, it's all subjective, I know we're all different, otherwise we'd all drive Fiat Pandas. But in my view, that the warship looks absolutely superb pulling the Royal Train. Whether they did or not, I doubt it. I don't know. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.